all righty hey there what's going on peoples uh it's your boy yeah i'm in my kitchen um yo so i'm about to do this tarot reading um i'm doing this kind of for myself just to save a snapshot but also for um example ex not explanation an example of a of this technique that i've was doing um and uh this is not a kufi <laughs> this is a durag uh but uh assalamu alaikum alaikum salam funga lafia ashe ashe um i go on main <laughs> also uh but uh yeah so what are we about to do is about to do a seven card draw um i'm labeling my paper one two three four Five, six, seven. And what I'm going to do, though, is linking these explanations, these connect, these interpretations of these uh, cards <clears throat> with interpretations of songs. And so I do this. Um, I have a playlist. I have a certain playlist that I make and I've been creating for some time. It's a bit of a, of a self. Arrêt en cours using a self-ruminating um thing uh, i would imagine somebody else would do this they would also need a playlist or even if somebody if their if their friend was doing the playlist uh of their own the person who was getting receiving the reading um is a way to uh give a certain randomized uh preface of uh of energies um for the tarot reading uh without it being bl like bland or you know or giving a little a, a little more of a uh uh preface and understanding of each other uh things to to build interpretation with as we do readings um and so what i'm doing i have a playlist on here and i did this for a friend of mine last night and she left it um i have a playlist called uh melodies from the muses a bunch of songs r b songs mostly female Primarily female. A few males might have slipped up and I took them out, even uh, just because I, I wanted this one to be uh, solely female voices, uh, melodies from the muses. But yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play seven songs from this playlist and write down the first the names and artists of the first seven songs. Uh, this is uh, I'll Die by Floetry. And I will say, when um, I did this before my friend, she, uh, she went and was listening to the songs as I was giving the, uh, I was doing this. Okay, well, you can listen to these songs uh, while the reading continues though I will be doing the rest of the reading in silence myself. Um, it helps if you already know the songs, but also if you don't know the songs, you can just simply go from words to words. Number two is uh, romantic. Okay, then that's three, okay. Romantic by Guapele. Anybody know that song? And then the third one was Lullabies by Yuna. I, and I know most of these songs. <laughs> uh, and number four was, uh, okay, bet. All right, bet. Uh, yeah, that was, that was All I Want for Christmas <laughs> by Mariah Carey. Um, you know, and so yeah, I'm writing this down. And then the five was Devotion by Electric Red. But yeah, and you know, the whole song, a deeper uh, knowing of the songs, I, I would suggest that a person would, you know, after the reading is over, they could take the words that I say and listen to the songs after the reading or during you know or whatnot but as i'm going to be doing this i'm not going to rely on the full 
depth and breadth of the song for the to to derive meaning for this reading. It's not necessary, but it does help. And I mean, especially the more knowledge you know about the person in that song, and and is if you're doing a reading for yourself, then you know, yeah. But this reading isn't necessarily for myself. Kind of, maybe, yeah. But I imagine I'm about to be reading um, a reading for the group. Anybody who watches this, the group. Uh, but um, my friend, she wanted some guidance on where she should be going in her love, in her love life. And I felt that I gave some good stuff for her, but it was a universal message also that resonated with myself. And so, um, you know, I'm still prefacing this. I know where I'm going with this. But, and number six song is, that was number five. Number six is, oh, I love that song. Safest Place. The Safest Place. Um, yeah. By Sade. The Safest Place by Sade. And number seven is <laughs> Down and Dirty. I love that song. Too. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I'm trying not to play this music because I don't want the video to get uh, taken down for any um, copyright stuff. I don't want the, the audio to get blocked for copyright issues at all. Um, that would be horrible. Um, I'm just trying to avoid that. So that's another reason why I'm doing this in silence. Um, but, you know, I was planning on doing some other music and some other things. So, but... Uh, definitely, I would suggest having silence for this while you're doing the um, music collection. Don't listen to the song. Don't listen to the whole song. Go with what you know or not or don't know. Um, and and so now, you know, meditate with intention. Oh, my gosh. Meditate with intention while I'm shuffling the cards. And as I said, we were talking, we're going to be doing this about the needs of the group needs of our hearts, you know, whatever resonates with me and, and resonates with you or not, why it doesn't. Um, and so, <clears throat> but, you know, we all going through this quarantine. This is a good time for us, you know, for us. We all going through this quarantine thing at the, uh, together. And, you know, I feel that people are meeting some people and talking to some people. We haven't been, you know, or whatnot. So we all need some guidance, clarity, things to keep in mind while uh, we out here in this world, in these streets. They out here giving out sex for tacos, B. They trading sex for food. Like, damn. I could cook though. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what you want to eat and shit. You know, you. <laughs> I hate some of these cards. Right. If somebody, if another tarot reader can uh, pass me some knowledge, about <laughs> I play spades, dog. You know, <laughs> trying to shuffle these cards. Shuffling tarot cards is uh, a challenge. We we'll probably use a machine for this, um, but you know, I, I do think a per person. I do think even if I was to use a machine to randomly shuffle the cards, I think that would still be valid for reading. And so, I'm still a student at this. I've been learning. But I experiment with this. And one thing I will impart, I've been telling people about this video game called Persona 5. It has a lot to do with uh, the tarot. Um, it has a bit of spiritual elements in it. But uh, it, it does it, in heavy use of the tarot. Um, it's a video game. And so, you know, all my people's out there playing video games, yo, yo, if y'all ain't on Persona 5 wave yet, you better get hip. Get hip now. And I will say it's to a certain extent, I would suggest it as a class in tarot 
spirituality because it's an engrossing experience the music is meditative most definitely and you know spiritual um spiritually touching and soothing you know not necessarily but it, it talks about the themes about real life self and truth engagement critical thinking and such but and it is it is mature it's the entire experience of the game is scoped to be at least 20, 200 hours, at least 200 hours of this engrossing experience into tarot. So uh, that's just more than some courses out there. And you can get 200 hours of experiencing yourself in the tarot for only $60. Only $60. I mean, seriously. And so get some. There, it's out there. Um, there are more of those people like you. And so, about to draw these cards. Do a seven card spread B. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And so, on the top one, I'll have the wheel. Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Um, new beginnings, end of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. And this is the card. Uh, can't see all the words, but I will read it again. A new beginnings, end of delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. Yes, Lord. How about it? Uh, and then, all right, just from the top. We're going to just not even from the, all from the top of the deck. We got uh, three of Raphael. Some mermaids on the beach. Hey. Uh, reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships or children. Ain't that wonderful? I already make me think about some friends and some things I was talking about earlier today. So sincere. No lie. Next from the top, we got three. King of Raphael upside down. I'm going to get to that one. Uh, excuse me. Pardon. And then next four, we from the top. Justice. Angel Raphael. Number five, we got nine of Michael. Um, and then six, Queen of Ariel. Seven, Queen of Raphael. Um, all right. And so we're going to reflect. This is highly artistic. Um, some people may not have the uh, focus of fortitude for uh, interpreting two, three, nine. 20 things all at once but that's what we do here right and so let's have some fun um number one is the wheel uh archangel jeremiel new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness and it's connection between flow a tree song i'll die i would say yes <laughs> because that's a connection of uh Life and death, you know, sometimes you got to close some doors. You got to close your first door so that you can open your next door. And close the door and then start rolling on the wheel. But first, you can't start rolling on the wheel if you don't close the door first. So you got to die. Let previous self die so that you can move forward into your first step, as always, until your new beginning. Um... You have to close the previous, pre previous book, previous chapters. Um... And so, yes, it says, will, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Yes, you know, create those things. Take some time. Whatever it is that you're doing, that I'm doing, <laughs> do this more than once. Will, roll, get, get things rolling. All of that stuff that you've been waiting on doing for so long, whatnot, roll it. Get the going in motion. Um, I will say that also before I move on to the step, the next step, this, I like this technique of reading. Because it gives more of a connection between two things as opposed to, it's less me. It's less me. It's more focused on the connection between the two things. And then how they, re and then the person receives how, the re how it resonates. All of that. Less talking about my own experiences or, or so much. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. Um, but more focused on the interpretive connection. Uh, okay, and number two, moving forward with uh, number two's card is three of Raphael, reasons to celebrate. 
a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships with children. Three of Raphael. And the song is Romantic by Guapele. And I know that song is kind of soulful song. It's a romantic song, uh, sensual. But I suppose it's saying, you know, Three of Raphael, uh, uh, reasons to celebrate. Celebrate in that romance. Let that be romance. The celebration of um, friends. I would say it's ma it made me think about um, some friends I was just talking to, some friends I did a play with. Uh, and I, should, I was like, yo, I'm in my blacks right now. I'm actually... Uh, and I was because I recently did a play and everything, and so yeah, reconnections of friends. You know, use this quarantine time to reconnect with friends. Uh, everybody is going through this at the same time. We are all here on the same accord of boredom. <laughs> uh, you know, um, being bored in the house and in the house bored. Uh, but uh, we all here, so you know, don't feel as alone as you might think you are. There's romance in this whole situation that, you know, sometimes you can meet somebody just from, uh, you can meet, a, sometimes you can meet a wonderful person just by posting, hey, can somebody help me? What not? Can anybody help? You know? If this is a prime time that somebody should be able to help, you know? Uh, or especially if you're feeling so d down, in, uh, d d distant from your friends, because we are social distancing. You may feel distant from your friends, but um, know that you probably have more friends than you think. If you just say, I need some help, throw up a hand, you know, uh, you'd be surprised. Amen. I know. Um, number three, the card is inverted uh king of raphael warm generous honorable and refined yet it is safe to yes it is safe to trust the ability to, to accomplish excuse me yes it is safe to trust the ability yes it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once Follow your creative passions. So, and this is King Raph King of Raphael. This was inverted, um, which is something of a worry to me initially. And the song is Lullabies by Yuna. So, this is a powerful card of uh, creativity and unleashing things and warm, generous being, da da da, da whatever, whatever. But um, the song is it, it, the card of such power was inverted, so it's as if that per, that power is sleeping. I've been listening to lullabies, but um, not not it's inverted. It, it may not be uh the real message at hand because I feel of three as the number of work. So while we are engaging on this work that we want to engage upon all of us uh, these things that we've been putting off and being so that have been so sleep within us for so long let us be sure to ensure to ensure that we invert these powers of warmth and generosity while we are diving into the work focus on your warmth and your generosity as you are diving into the work that you dive into no matter how cold it may be, no matter how, uh, you know, trudging, or, you know, even diving back through depression you may be doing. Uh, remember to be warm, people, children. Um, yes, it is safe to trust. It's safe to trust others. The ability you can accomplish, you can trust yourself also. Uh, you can accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Unleash that self. Be sure, focus, make sure that when you dive into the work that you are unleashing the passionate king within yourself to make sure that you have that tenderness while you're doing what it is that you're doing, while you're doing work. Work. Because sometimes that work need to be as soft and soothing as a lullaby. And if you can make it, if you can, you know, find that moment of peace within yourself while you're working, that, you know, 
that 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 moment of work lostness in it even um to just uh do that and let the work happen um peacefully beautifully um number four we got the card is justice archangel ragio um I'll come back to that, Raphael. Um, I had another point about Raphael, but I'll tie that in later. Um, Justice, uh, Archangel Raguel, Raguel, um, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And this is number four. And the, number, the song for number four is... All I want for Christmas is you uh, by Mariah Carey. So let's connect this. So we got, for one, we got four, we got eight and four. That's three fours. That's 12, which is three, which is back to King Raphael. Uh, but remember, so that's still warmth. There's still a lot of passion. Let us not lose that passion. Uh, surely. In our fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Trust that your favor is heaven sent as Christmas. Everything Christmas is. Because regardless if you're Christian or not, all some of the baddest movies about justice have been superhero movies or movies about heroes doing something on Christmas time. So, you know, something happening around December 25th. If you know, you know. Hmm. But, badass John McClane on December 25th, you got the power to be the hero also. You got justice on your side. Fight your fight for justice and equality ruling made in your favor. Do not give up on your fight. If you ain't got it on the third step, get it on the fourth step. And I'm going to tell you that. Run it till you at least get four steps in past the third, even seven steps. If you ain't made it by the third, keep going to the fourth. If you ain't made it by the fourth, go on to the seventh. Honey, if you ain't got it by then, you probably ain't gonna get it, man. <laughs> but um, bet you feel me, honey. All I want for Christmas is Mariah Carey, B. <laughs> <laughs> is Mariah Carey. Um, but yeah, so don't give up and continue on. <laughs> Hilarious. All right, bet. Number five is the card is nine of Michael. Michael Jackson. Yeah, you dance like Michael Jackson. Whatever. All right, I'm chilling. All right, so the card is worry number nine, nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Um, but the song, not to get too much, too distracted. The song is Devotion by Electric. And that's already a connection between, right there, between Electric Devotion. Uh, but number the nine, this is the number five card, nine of Michael. So the message for you to work to release unto yourself <laughs> is uh, that your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcomes you desire, on the end games of what you want, not on just so many other steps. Because if you just be patient, it will work itself out, even as it's supposed to, step by step. So be patient. And release your feelings of regret, guilt, and worry to your angels. Just let it go. You know, you know you've been working and dealing with some things for some time. All, all those people that hurt you and things like that. And you felt like you you mad at yourself, still ain't forgave yourself for trusting them and stuff. Your feelings of regret, guilt, and worry that you just, whatever, let it all go. All those questions and just move forward into all of these things that we've been talking about so far. The the friends, the 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 new the new beginning, the friends, the passion that you have to unleash within yourself, the justice that is yours definite as divinely celestially designed. Um focus on those things 
and putting those things into your final outcome and less worry about so much of the steps. Just let your light shine through. Like Michael fucking Jackson. <laughs> you know. Um, and number six is uh oh, I love this song. The song is the safest place. And this is a uh, huh close to me, I will say. Uh, the song, it, the, the card is Queen of Ariel. Ariel is an angel. Um, I forgot what the and still, I'm not this is a bit of a stripped down uh lesson on the tarot of uh, because uh I, I'm not interpreting the cards, the image on the cards, the artwork on the cards as much. I ain't got time for all that right now. But you know, in your own reading, surely you could do this. I would suggest that your own cards and such, um, and how they play into what your entire complexity of reading. Um Queen of Ariel was this card. And there was another part. And the meaning of each angel. Each angel is uh, a certain things. And that I'm not d diving into the book of research on that right now. But don't forget um, those two areas. Don't forget those two areas of interpretation also. Um, this card, as we're saying, this is the sixth card. Queen of Ariel. Mature, practical, generous, happy. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise. Pra <laughs> these, don't, these things aren't written in uh, perfect English. Um, the ability to make anything more beautiful. Practice. I mean, gosh. <laughs> practical and wise advice. Um uh, I'm going to read that part, that's that part again. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. Number six, Queen of Ariel. Okay, so personally, Ariel, I have a cousin named Ariel. No, my blood cousin, uh, her name is Tiara, but she used to love Little Mermaid Ariel. Then I met her, I had a great friend who was like a cousin to me. Best friend who was like a cousin to me in college, who her name was Ariel. So these are kind of my peoples. Six, sure, most definitely. And Sade, this is mostly for me, y'all. Uh, but I have a lot of depth that I could pull out of this. Um, Sade, the safest place. I love that song. It's a great song, great, great song, beautiful song. If you've never heard that song, you that's one off the list that you need. I'm telling you, but take care of yourself, love yourself. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Um, you know, listen to yourself. You are in your safest place. You are in quarantine, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you are in your safest place. Um, <laughs> you are in your safest place to do everything that you feel like you want to do that you need to do. So just do it. But take care of yourself and those that you love, your family, and everything they need to be taught. Your peoples. <laughs> Have fun with that. Um, I'll at me. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Trust yourself. You are in quarantine. The only art that you can make is what you can create. Uh, you know? And, and, and you have the ability to make it better. The problems that you will be faced with are ones that you can be, can't can handle. And you have the tools to handle. So, you know, be patient with yourself in number six. I tend to think of the six as a number for keep on going. It's not finished yet. You can't stop here. Um, just because, you know, sixes. You don't want three sixes. You don't want to leave three of anything incomplete at six. So, keep on going. You feel me? Um, four sixes. And then you might got a bomb. So, um, <clears throat> but you know, y'all ain't ready. Uh, <laughs> be practical and give yourself wise advice. Think ahead. Think of your best decision to make. Your best decision to make. Um, your, uh, w w you know, you know what, you know what the best thing to do is. Don't be lazy. Don't be, uh, you know, think you could cut corners and stuff because you're in quarantine. You're only going to hurt yourself because, you know, it still has to get done and you have to do it. 
because you're in quarantine by yourself. Um, <laughs> and you and your family, you know, you got to do it. And so give love, though. Much love in your safe place. Everything that your safest place is. The name of the, the song says, in my heart, you have found the safe, the safest hiding place. Uh, my heart's been a war. Uh, I've been a warrior. Went to war for you. Inside is a lake, a house in a field. Uh, outside is a wall that no one from hell could break. Um, in here, you shine. You know, shine in your safe place. It's a beautiful song. Shade, safest place. Listen to that one. I can't even tell you. That's her song. She, she did that. Queen Ariel. Queen of Raphael, number seven. Um, <laughs> and in closing, for number seven, you got to get down and dirty. With the Queen of Raphael. Um, <laughs> uh, the name of the song is Keisha Cole. It's Down and Dirty by Keisha Cole. And the song, the card says, Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Uh, follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. For number seven, I, okay, Raphael personally makes me think of artistry. The, uh, I, believe, I, I do remember I read in the book, Raphael was the art, the, the angel of artistry of some sorts. Um, essentially, he was. Raphael was the angel of artistry. But then me personally, you know, I love Ninja Turtles. Raphael, the ninja, the red Ninja Turtle. But, you know, he was passionate, red is passionate. So I feel like that's perfectly aligned, even though this card is green. Um, but passion of down and dirty love and everything and it's supposed to be and this is not meant to be so sexual only perverts but it's meant to be more by psych psych psychic go go psychic energies <laughs> um follow your heart and love of home get down and dirty with this your your shit your psychic energies. Uh, so many times I've heard, uh, it makes me think about Lady Gaga. She says, "Some, you know, when you're diving into your art, you got to have raw, nasty, raunchy, filthy sex with your art. And so get down and dirty. Dive into it. Uh, <laughs> but as you are diving into your sexy filth, <laughs> down and dirty, be kind understanding giving and psychic things to keep in mind for your meditations uh but you know think ahead being kind taking into consideration your your audiences uh, or your people your children your whoever it is that you are serving even uh you know working with uh Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic at the close. Dive into your passions deeply, but can remember to be the, the goals of being kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Remember King Raphael, how he wants you to be warm, generous, honorable, and refined, even as you're getting in with down and dirty Keisha Cole. They have things. The king and queen of Raphael, they know you got to love and the, the tenderness that comes along with art. Let us never forget the tenderness that comes along with art and everything that art connects to. That's a mess. That's, that's a, a, a lesson from a, a, a depth for another time. But king and queen of Raphael, there was at three and seven. They want to make love. And so, you know. All you people, you lovers at home, you know, somebody probably getting pregnant over this break. I about bet money. I bet so much money that this is about to be a whole new wave of baby boomers, a generation. Yep. God gave us the Rona. He killed some people so that we could make some more people. And now a whole lot more of them about to be browner. And, um, you know, so uh, what we what we talking about? Peace, y'all.